So this is super funny. I'm waiting for a guy in a 718 GT4 to turn up at these motorway services. And what do I find? Another guy turns up. He's just purchased this car 36 hours ago from Porsche Mid Sussex. So Andy Crabb, that's probably your good hands over there. You just can't get away from Caymans, can you? And a GT4. So I'll start, then I'll hand it over to you. Hi there. Actually, why don't you do the intro? Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Max Revs. How does it go with the rest? Um, Take two, yeah? <laughs> Take two. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Max Revs. In this episode, we're going to talk about the 718 GT4. So we're back again in the motorway service station. We were supposed to be in a park. Uh, we went to the park. It was absolutely full. Car park was chock-a-block. We're back in another motorway service station, but that's how it is at the moment. We're here with Morris. We're observing all our rules. We're COVID safe. He's in his car over there, and I'm over here. And today we're going to basically talk about him being a 718 GT4 owner. I guess you've had your car, what, 18 months now? Um, it's been about 16 months. 16 months, okay. Yeah. He is one of these owners that I think is kind of a rare owner in the sense that he's put like eight and a half thousand miles on his car. Bearing in mind we've been in lockdown for the last like year and a bit, I don't think he's driven the car much in the last six months. So probably, and what, within the first six to seven months you put on quite a few thousand miles. That'd be right, yeah. yeah. I think I did a couple of trips over this summer that really put the mileage up, um, but yeah. You spot on in terms of the last four or five months, the car's yeah. pretty much been stationary outside, <laughs> so haven't really driven it as much as I would have liked. But hey, yeah, well, and that's what I love it, and that's kind of the topic for this video. And I'm not saying there's a right or wrong here because if you've worked your way up in life, you can afford a GT4, you get offered a GT4 from your dealership, you're obviously doing something right in life. So I'm not, I'm not casting judgment here. You go on Auto Trader, you'll see it's so super mileage sensitive because you'll see the cars for sale. Most of them, like there's 21 cars on sale in the UK, the median value is about like 800 miles on the clock. Why do you think they're so sensitive about putting the miles on? I think. First of all, I'd, I'd say with a GT car, it's probably not your first car. You probably have a daily and then use another car, a GT car for the weekends or for road trips or something like that. So with it being your second car, inevitably you're gonna put less miles than you would if it was your primary car. With me, I didn't really have any expectations in terms of the mileage, but I wasn't for sure gonna look at how many miles I drive and try limiting that based upon residual value. For me, the key thing was, having the car, enjoying it, experiencing it, and sharing different moments with that car. It's a very interesting question. Why do people not use the car as much as they should? And a lot of it, I'd say, has got to do with the UK market being so mildly sensitive. Yeah. Um, you know, if you've got one car that's got 10,000 miles and you've got another 20 cars to choose from that are on 800, 900 miles, your preference is gonna be for the lower mileage car. Yeah, okay. um, and unfortunately, that is an outlook many owners take and as a result you know don't drive the car as much as they as they would and i believe they should yeah. um i mean yeah. one thing i've definitely learned i mean thanks for all the times that we've had together in your car is looking at the car owning the car i think that's part of the story but being on the trips that we've had it's such a pleasure to have the car and it's a bit like maybe owning a painting but locking it away in storage like you buy a painting to look at it every day and you know put it in your room yeah. but some people will lock it up in the vault owning a gt car i think they need to be driven because they're fantastic bits of engineering absolutely and i think living living in the center you don't really appreciate the engineering because most of the time you're going low speed you know you're changing gears you're stuck in traffic you know you, you're not using 95 percent of what the car's capable of but the, the trip to wales for example or a couple of trips around europe i've done in the car that's where i felt the cars really come alive so to not put miles on it not take it to places not drive it it's a shame because it's such a well-engineered car yeah, yeah. you know you're, you're scratching the surface of what it's capable of so would, would you say that that's how you become attached to the car it's through the trips you do in the car yeah, for me, 100%. It's the memories that go along with the car. The car, I mean, everyone knows the 718 is is a great piece of engineering and it's a very capable car. But you bonding with the car, spending time in it, doing things with it, experiencing new places with it, um, that becomes a memory which is attached to the car for me personally. And yeah. that is what's so valuable. You know, when I look back the last five, seven years, cars I own, each one has a story, something that I can relate to, and that's all based on the trips or the miles that I've driven in it. I've spent a lot of time, you know, in different scenarios. I've done five, six hour motorway journeys at 70 miles per hour. I've done country roads, I've done mountain passes. So for me, I completely vouch for the fact that the GT4, 
you could use it daily and it's a very comfortable car and it can be used um yeah but um but yeah i, I feel like the mileage and the, the the depreciation and the sensitivity that comes with it i guess stops a lot of people from using the yeah. cars I mean, it's really odd because when I, I go on auto trader i look at all the caymans 981s gt all the models and then the mileage is pretty wide ranging it's only the GT4, even the 981 is just as bad. Yep. They, they, like the minute it's 10,000 miles, people go, oh, it's high mileage. But why do they say that just which for is the, the GT car? Which is for me the most, the most pathetic thing because I'd actually argue putting more miles on this car, yeah. it's kind of opened up, you know? It's, the sound has changed a little bit. You know, everything just feels smoother. It feels like it's more fluid. Um, so if anything, the car with miles gets better. You would, yeah. you would want a car that's been driven as opposed to a car that's a couple of hundred miles been left in storage for three years four years um i mean i, I don't know if you, it's something you can comment on but do you think there's speculators in the uk market that probably thought you know what the 981 gt4 went down so well i'll buy a 718 gt4 but i'll look to sell it as quick as i can and make some money there's part of that as well and i think we ended up with more 718 gt4s than people initially thought um, and then obviously with COVID and everything going on with the market, um, there's been so much uncertainty. So that's impacted not only Porsche prices, but you know, car brands in general. Um, but I mean, when you're making a decision and you know, you want to take a GT4, any car for that matter, you have to take into consideration what your motive is and the reason you're purchasing that car. If it's collectability and you know the rarity of the car then fine i can understand you know you buying it and not driving it as much because there's some value attached to it and low miles means more collectible but if you're buying the car purely for the experience and to drive it for me that whole thing detracts from the ownership because you have this fantastic car that's just sitting there you know and you're not using it all for the sake of um you know losing money which yeah. in in the end we all buy cars not necessarily as financial assets but something we enjoy yeah. you know it's leisure no, it, as opposed it, to an investment it, it's fantastic what you're saying so i think you know I'm, I'm like no one wants to be the richest man in the grave and if you're just going to own the car but not make use of it you're not experiencing it you're not getting the best out of it and it's a shame because the gt cars they're there to be driven because that's where they put you know the special suspension you've got on the front i think the other thing you got if we're talking about values and depreciation you know if you've got a car that's done two three four hundred miles in terms of depreciation, what does that translate to? You might lose, I don't know, let's just say pick a number, 10,000 pounds, you know, after a year of ownership or two years ownership of that car. A similar car that's done 10,000 miles, you might lose 15, 17,000. But the miles per pound or the amount it's cost you proportionally to the experience, for me, it outweighs that extra depreciation because you've driven the car significantly more than the other person. So. Any car, when you initially take it, it loses money. But driving it and then losing, for me, money on the car is not as painful or bad yeah. as not having driven the car and lost yeah, a lot of money. So, yeah, we could, we could talk about depreciation all day in terms of residual values and stuff. And I think it's a, it's a weird time to be a speculator because no one really knows what's going on with the car market, with the whole electric hybridization and, and so on. Um, and you know Porsche have always proved that they'll do the complete opposite I mean if you look at the 911R manual then you had the touring coming out in manual so you know they almost fulfilled demand thank you Royce for kind of sharing this time I know we couldn't get in the same car with each other but the rules are what they are thank you so much for kind of like you know meeting me in the motorway service station you know it's been a pleasure <laughs> and yeah enjoying life uh, yeah, you, you might as well sign us out enjoying life and cars to the max no, give it a bit more oh, come on enjoying <laughs> oh, come on enjoying life and cars to the max <laughs> see ya